Hello everybody. Welcome to manage our syslog with Puppet. My name is Krishna. In this webinar, I will be talking about how to manage our syslog with Puppet. At the end of this uh, webinar, we will have some question and answer sessions. You can use the link at the bottom of the slide to follow. Uh, let me know if anybody is having any problem. Uh, is my voice audible to all of you? Let me know into the chat sections. Shola Jibaru. Okay. So uh, uh, just let me know, uh, some of them can li listen properly, no problem. Uh, that issue might be at your level, just uh, try to figure it out and fix it. Uh, regarding the URL, uh, I will send the URL at the end of the session. The link is already there in, in front of you at the bottom of the slide. Uh, going ahead, I am moving to my next slide about me. My name is Krishna Prajapati. I'm working as a system engineer at Olin Data and exploring other technologies too. We provide open source training and consulting in the technologies like Puppet, Node.js, Linux, MySQL, and the complete LAMP stack. Overview. I will give a short description about Puppet. You should have basic knowledge of Puppet in order to understand the webinar. In the next slide, I have added few links which can guide you to the setup of Puppet. What is Puppet and uh, why do we care about it? Puppet is a configuration management software based on Ruby. The new Puppet server is based on closer technology. It is designed to help system administrator to automate many repetitive tasks performed regularly. It defines and enforces the state of your infrastructure throughout the software development life cycle. It ensures consistency across your infrastructure. It scales very well from one server to 200k servers. The average Puppet Enterprise seen from 300 servers to 600 servers. It supports multi-platform environment like Windows, Linux, Mac, BSD, Solaris with the strength of multi-platform. It is widely used and adopted. Puppet is an open source product also available as commercial offering from Puppet Labs as Puppet Enterprise. So these are the topics uh, which are going to be covered into the webinar. Uh, I already I have talked about Puppet. Puppet is uh, one of the most widely used configuration management software. The new technology uh, based on closer technology, it's uh, very fast as compared to the previous versions. Uh, feel, uh, everybody feel free to ask questions or uh, if you have any doubt at any of the points, if you have any clarification, let me know. So coming to this slide, what is our syslog? Our syslog is a rocket fast systems for log processing. It offers high performance, great security features and a modular design while it started as a regular syslog day. Syslog accepts input from wide variety of sources. It transforms them and the output, the results set to diverse destinations. Syslog has a strong enterprise focus but also scales down to small system. It supports among other databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, 
fellow for log destination, syslog, TCP transport, fine grain, output and format control, high precision timestamp, queued operations, and the ability to filter on any message part. Our syslog can deliver over 1 million messages per second to local destination when limited processing is applied. Even with remote destinations and elaborate processing, the performance is usually considered stunning. It, it is one of the good tools for log processing. Going ahead, uh, you can also use some GUI tools like uh, uh, Elasticsearch to see the graphical view that can be implemented on top of this uh, tool rsyslog the output output can be redirected to elasticsearch and the whole gui will be shown what are the logs coming up <clears throat> in addition to that it will show you a graph how many logs per day per, per hour and per month even uh, based on years also you can see a proper graph so it gives a lot of features to you as well uh, the name of the tool is Elasticsearch. So uh, I'm going ahead to my next slide. Puppet module selection. So here I will show you which module you should select from the list of available modules. So the important link for Puppet modules is Puppet Fork. The link is fork.puppetlabs.com. Let me show it to you over here. So uh, here's the link fork.puppetlabs.com. This consists of all the, this is the whole library for Puppet modules. So this consists of uh, puppets built by Puppet as well as the community contribution as well. So here in this section, you can find the, uh, write down the model name. So here you can see a list of modules available in front of you. So uh, this link can be used to check and search the modules, what you need. So depending on your, uh, based on your requirement, you can search for other modules like Apache, MySQL, whatever your requirement is. So, uh, and the last module, supported module. So this shows you what are the supported or operating systems it will give you a complete list so here's the complete list what are the operating systems uh, supported by the module at the top you can see the uh, n number of uh, operating systems so you can just uh, before use you can just verify the support list if it is supporting your requirement or not so uh, Puppet Labs, STD Labs, you can see it's available for all of them. So this is a standard library. So this should be required for all the modules. I'm going to my next slide. So on the command uh, install, Puppet module. So from the command line, you also have the option to do this task. So simply you have to give the command puppet module search rsyslog. So uh, after giving this command, uh, you can see a notice over here. So it is actually searching the same link what we have I have opened just now. So here is it's the same link fog.puppetlabs.com. So, and uh, it is showing all the available modules with rsyslog. 
so this is the name description author and keyword uh, let me take you to the site so here's the list available so uh, here uh, the all the information has been given to you was number date and the number of downloads and here you can see approved message has been shown so this approved message means that this module has been thoroughly tested by puppets so there will not be any issue and this is the recommended module for you to use so uh, although you have you can use any of the below modules for your work but this one is the recommended one and this one has the highest download see the huge number let me open it out so so here is the latest version what are the operating systems to which it is compatible red hat ubuntu so it's all of the linux version so and here is the command if you want to install through the command line okay i'm moving to my next slide so here is the same command just i have shown you before puppet module installed our syslog so by giving this command it will prepare the install and it will download from the same link what i have shown you before so after installing it will show you what are the modules has been installed and uh, uh, below i have added to one more command puppet module list so this will list all the modules which has been installed on the operating system so uh, already i have uh, uh, installed few modules which you can see over here puppet labs apache apt mysql so the r syslog is over here so uh, along with that it also shows the what is the version of that module so uh, let me explain you a little bit more over here so uh, basically before uh, you go further you should check the compatibility because uh, on what operating system you are it's better to check the compatibility so that uh, uh, further there is no issues so this is a complete readme file it gives the syntax options syntax options what are the other parameters what is the default value so it gives all the whole information to you so this is the whole list even the parameters has been displayed and uh, the description is also available what it does and what uh, it, it does not so a uh, complete list of parameters along with description is available to you over here okay uh, i'm moving to my next slide so uh, basically this is the class rsyslog this is the default syntax for the class rsyslog the parameters which i have used over here is log local port and server so actually what does this class will do it is going to set up the rsyslog client the parameter log local is going to make the logs log locally on the system the default uh, this the this is the port for this and this this is the server name this server name is the location where the logs will be stored for example uh, suppose uh, you want to store the logs of 20 or 30 servers on a single system so uh, this is the server location where all the logs is going to be stored 
basically this r6 syslog can be also very useful where uh, you have more than thousand servers for big enterprise even as well as a small enterprise so you can have a centralized logging servers so you don't have to log each and every server to check the status of the log being uh, by using this tool the whole log of all the servers will be logged at one place and it will be very easy for you to to verify the logs if you need to check something at any moment i'm moving to the next slide r syslog servers so this is the class for for installing r syslog servers so basically uh, if you want to have a a centralized logging kind of thing you should have the syslog server as well it will log the whole information on the server itself so you have to give the server information over here so uh, the parameter enable tcp there are the two protocols which is used which is uh, being used for uh, moving the logs from client to the server the one is tcp and the other one is udp and uh, both we have selected as true enable or uh, one file so this parameter might be useful to you it depends on the requirements so what this parameter will do the all the logging will be stored in a single file so uh, at the moment this has been turned as a uh, false so all the log files are stored individually for example syslog auth log messages d messages so all the logging are stored separately and uh, this server directory is the location on the r syslog server where all the logs will be stored i'm moving to my next slide so everybody please uh, feel free to ask if you have any questions custom logging template so this is a custom template for logging so this will give you a better information about the log files so you can just take a look at the templates so here you can see primary timestamp host name syslog so uh, this will include all these informations while the in the file name so this will give you a better idea of of uh, what, at what time it was created what is the this log file is for which host and for which for uh, which file so it gives you a better idea uh, about the log files so uh, let me show you the other options available for this custom logins so this is the format rsys logs okay i'm moving to my next slide so uh, this is the syntax for multiple remote servers the remote server parameter can be used to set up logging to multiple remote server which are supplied as a list of key value pair for each remote so this is the same client so this is the another parameter remote underscore servers and here you can see host so the this will make the logging on multiple servers so here we have given two hosts the first one is logs.example.org and the another host is logs.somewhere.com so the logging will be stored on both of these servers uh, with the additional parameters given over here
so going ahead logging to my sql or postgresql is also possible with the same tool even can be logged to my sql or postgresql database the database needs to be deployed separately either locally or remotely so this class can help you to log all the database to some other or all the logins to some other database like uh, mysql or postgresql the database can be installed remotely on the same server or it can be installed on some remote server only you have to give the what kind of backend you are going to use the backend is should be either mysql or postgresql and uh, server database username and password these are the connection parameters which will be used to connect the mysql database so the connectivity will take place and all the logging will be stored on the database i'm moving to my next slide okay uh, let me uh, show you all the options available to you through the readme file uh, uh, there is a big list of options available depending on the requirement you can use it so uh, this is the client parameters available over here uh, it's a big list of options available over here so here you can see server and uh, and here you can see remote servers basically when you have a uh, only uh, one server better to use this one otherwise you can uh, use any of these it will work very well in addition to that uh, high precision time stamp lots of uh, options are available to you So even uh, the log underscore remote parameter you can enable or disable based on your requirement. If you don't want to log on the local system, you can disable it. So all the logs will only go to the log server. So uh, these are options available for the rsyslog servers. So basically it's up to you uh, what protocol you want to use for the for sending the logging from uh, local to remote servers. Either you can use TCP, UDP or you can make both of them true. Enable one file, it's up to you. This is the location where the logs file will be stored. This is the port. and uh, all other uh, informations are available if you want to keep rotating the logs you can use the rot, uh, rotate parameter so here is the complete list of the parameters along with the descriptions uh, which can give you good information about the actual use of that par parameter so this section will uh, give you the class parameters this is for server parameters this one is client and the last one is the database so the whole information is available into the readme file of the module so better to <laughs> check it for all the things whatever you need I am moving to my next slide so this is the profile which I have created so the class uh, name is profile rsyslog and this is the this section is going to install the client part and this section is going to install the server part so only these few lines are doing the whole magic basically if you want to set up 
the same thing on the n number of servers it is very possibly without uh, without any big modifications the same thing can be used for any of any or n number of linux servers and can be deployed within few minutes on all the servers i'm moving to my next slide so that uh, the profile has been uh, used over here into the role common since uh, all the logs from all the servers should go to the logging server therefore it has been used in this pro, uh, role so roles and profile are one of the features of puppet which allow you to do the categorizations so whenever the things are very big for example managing thousand and ten thousands of uh, nodes so through this roles and profile profile it is very easy to manage the servers the codes puppet codes manifest so everything it's uh, easy to manage with this i'm going to my next slide so uh, this is the actual files stored on the server so basically this is the uh, rcslog servers and this is the location what i have given into the destination directory for logging so here is the tree view of the files which has been sent from the local servers to the logging servers so this puppet is one of the server and this is uh, web is one of the server so all the logs from this uh, web web is the client and this puppet one is the server so all the logs from the web has been added to uh, sent to the puppet server so all the logins you can see auth log cron daemon kernel messages syslog in addition to these logs you have an options to add any other files as well or even if you want to search by some keywords you have that options available you have to do the slight just take a look into the parameters on the readme file it will give you the whole idea so i am moving to my next slide so uh, this is all about about the access logs these are the upcoming trainings we have with us for puppet we have uh, the recent puppet trainings in Bucharest, Kuala Lumpur, Bangalore and Singapore uh, if anybody is interested to join the puppet training they are welcome and uh, get in touch with us we will let you know the remaining details uh, this links give you takes you to the, to our previous webinars what we have conducted you can check the link and uh, we are hiring europe and asia based trainers if anybody feels they are good to good and uh, uh, with the training part they are welcome and they can come and join us so uh, i'm here to answer your queries if you have any of them you can also put up your questions into the chat sections so this is my email krishna at the red all uh, everybody feel free to get in touch with me for any queries regarding this webinar uh, there is a query from shola jibodu Hi Sola, can you hear me? What do I have? 
Okay, let me know your question, please. Uh, actually, I cannot hear you. Can you put up your questions into the chat section? Uh, there is a question from Srola Jibodu. I have tried to use the size RCS log in the past on the Red Hat system, but it fails. Uh, let me just give his answer. Shola, it is working perfectly on all the Debian based system as well as Red Hat. Uh, his, uh, there is a, another question from Giridhar Kazma. His question is, are you planning any session in Hyderabad? Uh, Actually, uh, we used to do webinars from time to time. If you have any query, you can send it to us on our email ID. On my email ID, I have given it to you. Uh, in the coming time, we are going to have some puppet workshop. We can uh, give some uh, information to you over there. Already, I am based in Hyderabad itself. Uh, thanks, Girida, to you too. So, uh, anybody else is having any questions? So, there is uh, another question from uh, Puneet Jain. Let me give him the Mike. Hey, Puneet, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, uh, we do take advanced puppet training as well. Uh, what sort of training you are looking for? Uh, basically, more on the development. Uh, I mean, uh, in front, like developing modules and all for the um, for. A custom uh, code and all, basically. Yes, we do take the advanced puppet training. Uh, what I would suggest to you, uh, uh, just send me a test email and uh, uh, I will give my colleagues uh, ID to you and he will give a call to you regarding the whole query he will answer you. Thanks, thanks, sounds good. Thanks a lot, Puneet. I have some more time if anybody is having some questions, I'm here. So thanks everybody.
for the for joining the webinar uh, there is a, another question from mgate massage how many days the training courses uh, the puppet fundamental training course is for three days and the advanced training is for uh, two days Mget, anything else? So thanks everybody for attending this webinar. Feel free to get in touch with me for any queries. Here is my email ID. Thank you. Thank you again.